Thank you, Helen. And welcome everyone to our lab. So today we will explore how we can take our intergroup house a step further, light it a bit brighter. So far, our main focus has been on helping small national groups to, to form and to stabilize themselves into basic work units. And several of those have been formed during this year and are still forming. And uh, we have together, we have uh, tasted, we have gotten a more practical taste of what it means to work as part of the Planetary Ajna Center. And uh, both of these aspects uh, surely will remain central as we go on. And at the same time, it seems that we can look at a few more aspects that we may add. So, um, based on your feedback from last time and our own impressions, we have prepared a list of several options that uh, we would like to look together with you at them um, and then take them into meditation together, reflect on them and afterwards uh, see in a sharing uh, how we resonate with it, with these points and if there are any additional ideas or wishes from all of us. Um, Alexander, can you put on uh, the slide? So we have it in front of us, it's a few points and I will go through them one by one now, saying a few things about each one. And uh, perhaps if you wish, you may jot down any responses to them and any questions and further ideas you may have. So we can share this later on after the meditation. Okay, first point, uh, the rhythmic meditation the deepening of the meditation work. This is probably the most important work, uh, both in each national unit and also in our work together once a month in the webinar. So we will continue this. Um, we encourage all groups to, probably you all have it already, but who doesn't, uh, to, to craft a meditation outline and uh, stick to it for a while because this regularity of, uh, of the meditative work is very stabilizing and it seems for this national work to work with a collective, um, a lot of repetition, a lot of, uh, you know, mm, setting up a rhythm seems very important. So, yes, it's like a backbone of, of this national work. Mm. So we will also keep the meditations and build like we did until now to build uh, each time in the webinar on the previous meditation. And uh, we will continue to record them and make them, <coughs> sorry, make them available. So the second point, nurturing the national group units. As I said already, this needs also to continue. It's uh, the basic work and on the quality of the group unit, all the rest is depending. So we do have already this step-by-step -step training during the previous webinars. They all build each on the other. So for any new groups, uh, 
uh, we have this material and at the moment it's available on the 2025 initiative website. We still haven't got around to organize it in, an, in a more orderly way uh, on our Hechal website, but we still hope <laughs> that we will get to it during the summer and uh, then it will be more compact and accessible. Yeah, what we would like to add to our toolbox is something that is close to our hearts, both in Hechal and in Klangschale. And this is the star model. Uh, after working for many years with it, it uh, has proven itself as a really potent stabilizer of spiritual group work. And we would like to dedicate um, a session, one of the, the next lab sessions to it, to introduce it to you. It is based on the seven rays and in an, a certain ordered geometrical alignment between them. It's basically an imitation of how hierarchy is structured. Each group member takes on the function of one of the seven rays and enters into an ordered relationship with the others. So we have a sevenfoldness and quite magically the energies and activities in the group are getting organized into greater harmony, greater efficiency. I have a little chapter about it in my book, Awaken the Will to Love. Um, yeah, and if you indicate your interest, we can dedicate a lab session to it. Um, as this national work proceeds, it will become more specific, each nation having their own angle, their own issues to deal with. Um, so perhaps there will be a need uh, to, to help each other with our specific questions and issues. Maybe we can find a way together. It's not that we have uh, something worked out how to do that, but uh, maybe there should be also somehow found a way where we can cooperate and share our specific issues and questions. Okay, the next point is the soul of a nation. In all this pioneering work with our nations, this is probably the most mysterious and the most not yet understood. Um, what is a national soul? Is, is it the same as the deva of a nation? Is it the sum total of the souls of its citizens? Um, yeah, it's still um, an area of research. It would be maybe of benefit to all of us if we would share the materials that uh, we have already collected. I know that uh, the Canadian group uh, has uh, started some focus on it around the, the work of Jeffrey Hudson. Perhaps others have done already something, or maybe we can form a research team and be interested. What is your response to this? Okay. Another aspect is the astrology and the rheology of a nation that we have been we have been given by decay for some of the nations and some not so we can also dedicate to this some research some presentation sharing how we work with this 
um, and also related to this, um, the yearly cycle of holidays of specific uh, significant uh, dates in the national life. Okay, next focus that comes to mind is the work with the national mental body. This is a main task of the new group of world service in every nation. It requires a special skill to identify any current thought forms, underlying thought patterns and also how to influence them, how to inspire new thought forms and insert them into the public consciousness. It's especially now important in our uh, turmoil right now between the two ages in this world crisis how to free ourselves from the old forms and to start to resonate with the new impulses. So we could exchange any existing expertise in this area. And then the emotional body of a nation addressing national glamour, national trauma. And this requires a lot of preparation and skill. We have found that this is, uh, really requires a, a very well functioning group field, very stable. Um, and of course, it's an important aspect of the work, it needs to be developed. Uh, also in a specific way, probably according to the skills and inclinations of the group members and the situation of the nation. And we may also explore this together, but perhaps a bit later. And then what has already a little bit started is the forming of cooperations between groups. We have heard from Australia that have spearheaded this, they invited Canada, they had a, a meeting together and they extended a, a, an invitation to Denmark, um, maybe make a pool of uh, nations, middle nations, as they said. There's also the idea of cooperating uh, nations with the same soul ray it was raised during the last lab. And of course, we would like to know if there are any other cooperations already underway between different groups, also in the same nation and also across borders. Would be interesting for all of us to know. Okay, and then the last point is, uh, is it appropriate? Are we already ready? Is it of interest to take on an intergroup project, take on a project together? And last week we made a, an experiment by inviting all of you uh, to subjectively support the summit of President Putin and President Biden in Geneva. Of course, we would like to hear any um, experiences with this uh, that you may have had. Um, yeah, there are surely several global issues that could be addressed 
what comes to mind um, in continuation to this summit, in continuation to the G7 meeting that was just happening before the summit, is what's going on between the East and the West. And um, also leading into this great triangle that DK said is very important, the USA, the UK and Russia. We're not sure if it is right for our creative lab to take on such a common project and maybe it's too early. We just want to throw out this idea. Okay, so this is quite a lot. As we go into meditation now, we will have some time to just uh, hold it up into the higher light, all these options, and, and then after the meditation to share our impressions. Okay. So let us get ready.